Week number 10 of the New Orleans Saints franchise mode here on Madden 25. And we are back for this game against the Atlanta Falcons, who come into today with a record of 3-6. and six. The Saints are, of course, 8-1. and one. We've played this Atlanta team before. We went to Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia, and beat the Falcons. And Atlanta is struggling this season 3-6 and six with their first year with Kurt Cousins. Of course, the Saints are the number one seed so far, or right now in the NFC playoff picture. You got the Green Bay Packers who are also 8-1. Then you got the Cowboys and Niners, both in the lead of their respective divisions, but both at 6-2. and two. The wild cards currently Eagles, Panthers, and Vikings. But we'll see. Again, we've, we've been playing pretty good football. Lost two weeks ago against the Chargers. We saw Zach Wilson take over last week after Derek Carr went down with an injury in the second um, quarter. And Zach Wilson played very well. Ended up scoring, I believe, three touchdowns through, through the air and got us the victory. Do we have a quarterback controversy? I don't think so, personally. Um, um, but there is something to look over, I would say, possibly with Zach Wilson. But no, Derek Carr is our guy for the most part. If he does screw up a couple games in a row, maybe we could look at Zach Wilson. But you don't bench a guy in Derek Carr who had this team at 7-1 and one through the first eight games of the season. Derek Carr is our guy, at least for this year. Um... Of course, with the injury and Carr's, you know, bad performance against the Chargers in Los Angeles, he's no longer one of the top three passing leaders, even though Kirk Cousins is number three for the Atlanta Falcons, who, of course, we are playing tonight. Alvin Kamara is the first rusher in the NFL this season in 2024 to break that 1,000-yard mark. He is at 1,027 yards and seven touchdowns so far this year. Crazy production out of Kamara this season. He is, of course, leading the NFL in rushing yards. You got Chris Olave, third in the NFL in receiving yards behind both T. Higgins and Justin Jefferson in terms of uh, interceptions leaders you got Demario Davis in first with nine you got Patrick Sertain and then of course Kool-Aid McKinstry with four just like Sertain again not much to go over um, today but we do have a team meeting before our game with the Falcons so let's go check this one out uh, back here in New Orleans, going to be three straight home games against the Falcons. Then you got the Browns and then the bye week. And then, of course, another home game against the Rams. So big week this week. As you know, we're facing the Falcons and I expect a win. Ryan Clark predicted they would win this week because they have the edge at quarterback. How are we going to prove him wrong this week? No way Ryan Clark gets a shout out on the franchise mode. Uh, throw our touchdown passes, then... Kirk Cousins, or I have a better QB rating, more touchdowns. We are going to outscore Kirk Cousins and the Falcons. So Derek Carr is going to have more touchdown passes than Kirk Cousins. Derek Carr says, okay, challenge accepted. Okay, that's all we have time for. So that's really all our meeting is. Just going at Ryan Clark for saying that Kirk Cousins is better than Derek Carr. Maybe he is. Oh, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Um, we haven't really looked at negotiating contracts for next season just yet. Just because, again, we don't have money. We are broke. Um, look at this. We are at negative $30 million under the cap room. Or just, we no, just in general. We are negative $30 million in. Um, we're screwed. We have to get a bunch of contracts off the books. Unfortunately, again, that's probably where Derek Carr does come into to play here. Again, I'm hoping Carr's value is going to be good in the offseason so we can move him. Unfortunately, that's just kind of the way we're looking at the future of this team. So again, we're trying to win with Carr this season, but I don't really see too much of a long-term future with Derek Carr as the quarterback. Quick quote from Alvin Kamara. I always look forward to this game. We want to beat these guys every time. I mean, isn't that every game though? I don't know. Uh, let's do it. Falcons and Saints from New Orleans and from the Superdome. And folks, before we get into the game, if you have not yet though, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for some more Saints franchise mode daily here on the channel. Earlier today, we posted our college football week zero predictions. So go check that out. Link is in the description down below. We're going to be doing college football predictions along with NFL predictions every single week. And of course, with the MMA predictions that are already on the channel as well. I'm talking UFC, PFL, Bellator. Go make sure to check out all the, chan all the content here on the channel. Let's do it. Falcons and Saints in week 10. Week number 10 here in New Orleans, and there is Alvin Kamara, the first rusher this year in the NFL to eclipse that 1,000-yard mark. He's got 1,027 yards so far this season, along with seven touchdowns, and looking to make more of an impact today here in the Superdome against the 3-6 and six Falcons. The Saints looking for their ninth win of the season and trying to clinch a winning record in just week number 10 here of the 2024 regular season. They're going to be taking on Kirk Cousins, Drake, London, B. John Robinson and Kyle Pitts, of course, of the Falcons. And Cousins has been pretty solid so far in 2024. However, his team, just simply put, hasn't been winning many games. Derek Carr is back from his injury last week, suffered in Carolina, and he is a full go tonight at home. 
So Blake Groupie is going to kick us off as we are ready to go here in week number 10 of the 2024 regular season. Atlanta is back deep to return it. And here we go. And immediately, Atlanta turns over the football. We've got a fumble on the opening kick. New Orleans has got it from their own 31 yard line. Derek Carr goes deep and he's got Chris Olave. First play, touchdown, first drive, touchdown for the Saints. All it took was three plays and New Orleans is up seven nothing. Here comes Kirk Cousins coming in today with 2,100 yards, 16 touchdowns, and eight interceptions. Cousins on a second and 10 is sacked, and immediately the Saints get it back again. Shepard on the sack and the scoop as the Saints on back-to-back -back drives will start deep in Falcons territory. New Orleans has got it from the nine on a third and seven. Derek Carr gets it to Rashid Shahid. He'll be down at the three for a fourth and in inches. New Orleans will go. Hand off Alvin Kamara. He bumps it to the outside. Kamara has got touchdown number eight on the season. 14, nothing New Orleans. And they've got, what, 50 total yards, give or take, so far in this game. It's been missed opportunities from the Falcons and turnovers, which have put them down 14 nothing. And now another turnover for the Saints. Demario Davis gets another interception. And the Saints have turned over the Falcons on three consecutive drives. And yet again, New Orleans will have the football in Atlanta territory. You could have not asked for a worse start to this game if you were the Falcons. And you couldn't have asked for a better start to a game if you're the New Orleans Saints. Alvin Kamara running free, down back into the red zone. New Orleans has got it at the 20-yard line. Carr on a handoff to Alvin Kamara. Up the middle, Kamara going to get his way down to the 12-yard line. Second and two for New Orleans. Orleans make it a third and two car from under center will hand it back off to Kamara following his blockers but Kamara is pushed back he only gets one yard Blake Groupie gonna come out for a 28 yard field goal and he's gonna knock that one through the Saints extend their lead to 17 and we just hit the halfway mark of the first quarter can the Falcons finally get the football over midfield? Kirk Cousins will get it to midfield to Rondale Moore second and 10 from the 50 and there they have it the Falcons are over midfield with a little dump off pass right there to Ray Ray McLeod. The Falcons have got the football now at the 15 yard line. Second and four for Cousins out the gun looking to throw to his left. There is Drake London. London, I believe, had a couple touchdown catches in the first encounter in Atlanta earlier this season. First and goal from the three. Cousins gets it to his right. I don't know how Demario Davis did not make the tackle, but John Fitzpatrick is in the end zone for the Falcons as they have cut the Saints lead now down to 10. So the Saints finally gonna have to actually drive down the field for the first time in today's game Kool-Aid McKinstry is back deep here for this kickoff return and my goodness the Saints might have another excellent field positioning here and McKinstry all the way down to the nine I thought he was gonna take it all the way to the house but the Saints offense again not needing to drive anywhere first and goal touchdown New Orleans again Derek Carr to Chris Olave for the second time tonight. The defense and the special teams are putting the Saints offense in the best possible situation. Four straight drives in a row now. It is insane. And for the Falcons, they have given up 24 points. But again, just like how the Saints special teams and defense is playing exceptionally well, you can say the flip side about this Atlanta special teams unit and offense but right there. There's a dime by Derek Carr, finding Rondale Moore for the first down to the New Orleans 16 yard line. Cousins on a first and 10 from the empty gun, going to his left, Bijan Robinson, gonna get away from Paul Sanitivo, and there's a score for Atlanta. Robinson cuts the lead back to 10, and I think the Saints are finally gonna see the football. The Saints offense is gonna see the football on their own side of the field. Here it is, first and 10 from the 30. Carr gonna get it to Alvin Kamara, out the backfield of Kamara, juking his way for the first down and more, as he'll be brought down at the 49 yard line. We go to the second quarter where the Saints are up by 10 again a high scoring first quarter New Orleans is up 24 to 14. The Saints will have it here from the 44 yard line the Atlanta 44 yard line third and three car being pressured down he goes 
First drive of the game for the Saints where they have not scored or put points on the board. Atlanta with the chance now to cut it to three at the end of this drive. Kirk Cousins on a first and 10 will find Ray Ray McLeod to the 26 yard line. First and 10 at four Cousins in the offense. Dropping back to Mario Davis pressuring, but Cousins will get it off to Drake London. London down to the 44 yard line. Third and 14 now from the 40. Cousins out the empty gun. Going over the top. Jonathan Abram can't get there. Rondale Moore's got it. And don't look now, but the Atlanta Falcons have cut this lead to three and we're still in the second quarter. 24 to 21 is the lead in favor of New Orleans. But again, here are the Falcons. Derek Carr back here on a first and 10 from his own 28 yard line being pressured out the pocket. Somehow, some way, he will find Chris Olave for the first down to the 46 yard line. Third and seven now though from the 49. Carr out the gun looking over the middle. Chris Olave again, but he drops the football. Wow. Atlanta gets the ball back. Taysom Hill's out for the game with a bruised sternum. But here comes Atlanta with a chance to take the lead at the end of this drive. A team that was down 17-0 and had turned the ball over three straight times to start this game. Insane stuff. Kirk Cousins is going to finally connect with Kyle Pitts for the first time in this game. Pitts has got a first down to the 50-yard line. And Kirk Cousins with 258 passing yards. And we haven't even hit halftime yet. And that number is just going to continue to grow as he hits Rondale Moore for the first down to the 38 yard line. First and 10, two minutes to play. Cousins being pressured and he is sacked down. Huge loss of 12. Cameron Jordan on the sack from midfield. Here is Kurt Cousins out the gun. He's picked off. Pete Werner with the interception. The second time tonight, Cousins is picked the third time. He's turned the football over. New Orleans will take over for midfield and a huge turnover that the Saints really needed after again seeing their lead fall to just three points. And right here, incompletion on that third and 11. Atlanta gets the football back here with a minute 32 seconds left in this first half from their own 15 yard line. Cousins, oh. Finds Drake London. Demario Davis, for some reason, did not put up his hands because if he did, that ball's probably picked. And look at Kirk Cousins, man, bouncing back, finding Rondale Moore. He's over 300 yards at not even half yet. Cousins going to keep adding on to that. There is his receiver in Cradero Hodge for the first down. At second and one from the 40. These curl routes are killing New Orleans. Drake London for another first. To the 27 yard line, 50 seconds to go. Cousins dropping back to his right, finds his receiver and Hodge again. First down to the 12. The Falcons are pushing the football down the field. First and 10 from the 12. Cousins gets it to Drake London. They basically exclusively just pass the football. Second inches from the two yard line, 10 seconds to go. Cousins dropping back, being pressured. Down he goes. Chase Young on the sack. Atlanta will be forced to kick a 27-yard field goal. Why is Kirk Cousins taking this? And he misses. I don't know what's going on there. That is a glitch in Madden where quarterbacks will take short field goals. Again, I don't know why Young Way Koo is not out there for that, but we'll take it. It is what it is. The glitch will favor us. New Orleans goes into the third quarter up by three, 24-21. The Saints get it here to start off this third quarter from their own 42-yard line. Derek Carr in a first and 10 gets the empty gun look and gets it off to Alvin Kamara. Kamara has got the first down as he's brought down at the 45-yard line. Third and eight for New Orleans. From the Atlanta 42, Carr dropping back, looking to throw. Got a man downfield. It's Jawan Johnson. He beats AJ Terrell, and he's in. Jawan Johnson gets in the end zone. A much needed score for the Saints after their offense went stagnant after that first quarter. 31 21 now our score. Jawan Johnson gets in for six. Atlanta, though, back with the football. Play action fake for Kirk Cousins over the middle. He will find Rondale Moore for the first down. Moore is brought down at the 44 yard line. But again, the Falcons' pass attack. Has been shaky at times, of course, the two interceptions to Demario Davis and Pete Warner, but we've barely called this man's name the entire game, at least in the run game. I'm talking about B. John Robinson. That's his first big carry of the game, and really it's just because the Falcons have been throwing the football so much. Third and four, Pete Warner can't make the tackle, and there's another first down for the Falcons. It is Ray Ray McLeod yet again. First and goal from the four. Cousins dropping back. He's got time, and he's picked! 
the third of the game for the Saints and Demario Davis is second. He is off to the races. Can he go all the way? Kyle Pitts is chasing him, but I don't think he's gonna catch him. Demario Davis makes it a 16 point game of pick six for Davis as he continues to rack up interception after interception after interception. We missed the extra point with Blake Groupie, but a 16 point game in favor of the Saints. It is still though to possession and the way the Falcons have been moving the football down the field with their passing. Again, this one is not out of play. It's just Kirk Cousins has turned the ball over now four times tonight, but he's racking up those passing completions and those yards. Again, they are moving down the field simply with just the pass. Cousins is sacked by Kool-Aid McKinstry, setting up now a second and 20. McKinstry, by the way, got to be the odds on favorite to win the defensive rookie of the year. He's been putting up a crazy season so far, especially with those amount of picks and really with him helping out with the blitzes as well. There's McKinstry getting coverage. He is going to knock that one down. New Orleans gets the football back from their own 26 yard line here in a third and seven. Final play of the third quarter and Carr will squeeze it in to Chris Olave. Olave keeps on his feet. He will get all the way down to the Atlanta 34 yard line. And that's how we will end off this third quarter with the Saints driving and trying to put this game away. 37-21 is our score going in the fourth. Saints up by 16. So here are the Saints from the 34-yard line. Derek Carr in a handoff to Alvin Kamara. Got the first down a lot more. There's a reason this man leads the NFL in rushing yards through 10 weeks. It'll be a second and five. By the way, Rashid Shahid got injured, so great. Uh, Kamara out the backfield will get all the way down to the two-yard line. That's why we signed Julio Jones, right? First and goal from the two. Carr dropping back, being pressured. Down he goes on the sack. It'll now be a second and goal from the 10. Carr out the empty gun, looking to throw. And there he is! Just mention him! Julio Jones against his former team. Jones gets in for six. And is this the dagger? I think it likely is. It's 44-21 in favor of the Saints. Here comes Atlanta, though. Oh, Demario Davis with the hat trick. Oh, man, the CPU cannot get by my user. Demario Davis with his third interception of the game, the fourth for Kirk Cousins, and his fifth overall turnover. My goodness, Demario Davis. The Saints already right back in the red zone. They are up by 23 points. Derek Carr scrambling to his right. We'll dump it off to Alvin Kamara, but he is short of the first down marker. That's fine. We can make it a four score game with a 30 yard field goal from Blake Groupie. And that's exactly what he will do. It's a 26 point lead for the Saints. This game is basically out of range for Atlanta. They get the football back with six minutes to go left in this game from around 31 yard line. Kirk Cousins gonna take a heave. There is Marshawn Lattimore. Rondale Moore is going to beat him downfield. The Falcons will cut this lead to, what, 19? It's a three-score game, but with six minutes to go, this one is certainly out of reach. Here comes the onside kick and, excuse me, a 19-point game. But this game's been funky so far, and, okay, Cedric Wilson can't pick up the onside kick. So Atlanta gets the football back from the 47-yard line. Cousins looking. Oh, it's a screen, and Honey Badger reads it the entire way. Tyron Matthew. Pick number five for the Saints defense tonight, and that officially will do it. Honey Badger reads the screen, and it's a pick six. The Saints are up 54-28, but I got to show you this. On a second and five, Ray Ray McLeod and Kirk Cousins have now made history because Kirk Cousins has broken this single game passing record. 558 yards, he has done it. He has eclipsed Norm Van Brocklin's 554 yards. He accomplished in 1951. Kirk Cousins is in the record books um, with five touchdowns now and five interceptions. But, if, and hey, 570, I'd say now, yards. Um, but I wouldn't completely blame this on the defense. We're going to win this game by 19, 54 to 35 is your final. Uh, Kirk Cousins again makes history tonight in New Orleans. Uh, I wouldn't completely blame the defense for this because they got so many turnovers to the point where, and our offense was scoring so quick as well, but again, that was kind of because of our defense. Um, to the fact where Kirk Cousins just got opportunity after opportunity after opportunity to keep firing the football. Uh, we got a bunch of sacks, but then Cousins would make up for that by throwing deep. And again, our secondary 
is a little questionable at times as we see Marshawn Lattimore right there just get burnt by Rondale Moore. Our secondary is somewhat questionable. Let's be honest, most of our picks do come from our linebacking core. Pete Warner got one today, Demario Davis got one today, and I understand that Tyron Matthew got one today too, and yes, Kool-Aid McKinstry does his thing as well, but sometimes our secondary is a little bit questionable. Bryce Young is toasted us a couple times, but Kirk Cousins with 585 yards off of 49 attempts and 39 completions breaks Norm Van Brocklin's record for most passing yards in a single game. It's just unbelievable. Rondale Moore with 241 receiving yards. It's ridiculous. But hey, a win is a win is a win. The Saints will win here in week number 10 and they improve their regular season to nine and one. They've clinched a winning record here in 2024 and we've got more to come next week, a home game against Deshaun Watson and the Cleveland Browns. So folks, thank you for watching episode number 10 of the New Orleans Saints franchise mode here on Madden 25. If you haven't yet though, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for more as well as leaving a like if you did enjoy the video. Make sure to go check out our college football predictions we posted earlier today as well. Folks, thank you for watching and Mamba forever.